Gore readings, flesh wound horror freaks, and welcome to another Halloween season edition of Flesh Wound Horror. I'm Daniel Shine, joined as always by the great pumpkin, Tad Loya. What's up? Pugs Dread. Namaste. And Mike Kruger. What's up, you sick motherfuckers? Uh, so we're here tonight to yeah. review a brand new film called the called Possessor from Brandon Cronenberg. Uh, I'm a big Cronenberg guy. Uh, the sun maybe now too. We'll see. Uh, so we'll get right into it. Uh, so Possessor follows an agent who works for a secret organization that use, uses brain implant technology to inhabit other people's bodies, ultimately driving them to commit assassinations for high paying clients. Uh, all right. So, um, this also, uh, well, specific request, because I think he has a strong opinion about it. I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. But uh, Kruger, what did you think of Possessor? So first off, this is my first uh, Brandon Cronenberg film. Obviously a fan of you know his dad's work. And holy shit, man, I really love this movie. First off, i got to talk about the cinematography and the uses of color. Uh Really great stuff. Uh, re kind of reminded me of like Mandy uh, in some sense with uh, some of like the uses of color and like horrific shit happening and colors changing and stuff. Like I loved mm -hmm. all of that. Uh, and this is also one of the most well shot movies I've seen in a while. Um, I mean, really, the cinematography is top notch. Uh, I can see, you know, it, it was kind of weird. It, I thought this would have been, you know, coming out of like a 24 spectra vision almost. Uh, and you know, the best way possible. I give it that compliment. Uh, the story kept you guessing, which uh, I love that, but I know some people don't like movies that don't, that aren't like that make you think. And I think this is definitely a movie that makes you think a lot. Um, Cause it is very metaphoric in some of the things that are going on. Um, the first hour, though, man, really blew me away. Like, I was just like, holy shit, how is this, like, that good? Like, I was – I totally was sleeping on this title. Uh, I didn't really, like, watch a trailer or anything beforehand, and everything about it blew me away. Uh, I want to watch this, like, immediately again, <laughs> and I really hope this gets a sequel. Um, there's so much I think you can really do with this. Uh, especially with, you know, Mandy. I mean, I, I, everybody knows I'm a fucking huge fan of Mandy. And uh, the actress, uh, Andrea uh, Risenborough, is how you say her last name? Um, I thought creepy, she was, but yeah. <laughs> I, I thought she was pretty goddamn good at this, especially like this long, strong, like this long dialogue she had at, at the end was just fucking perfect. And the acting too, man. Uh, Christopher Abbott was like the MVP of this. His descent in the madness and watching him go insane was fucking awesome. And I haven't even talked about the kills yet, guys. The fucking yeah. kills are phenomenal. Like some of the most realistic murders I have seen on screen in a long time. And uh, like there was a head crush in there. I'll talk getting the more specifics of what I loved in spoilers. But uh, and even like some of the surgical scenes like were really cool. And that was a whole nother area of horror. I haven't really, you know, looked, I haven't seen many uh, movies that involve like surgeries and stuff like that. So that was a whole different element of gore effects that I was like, wow, these are really realistic and looks, you know, real. Um, so yeah. And like I said, the, before the uses of color and the hallucinations and stuff almost reminded me of like, Movies like Daniel isn't real in a sense, and uh, you know, movies like that. So, if you like stuff like Mandy, Daniel isn't real, those really crazy, you know, mushroom almost induced LSD <laughs> fucking crazy scene, this is for you. And I am a fucking huge fan of this. I want to watch this fucking movie on mushrooms first off, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's all I gotta say for right now. Well, how about you, Pugs? What did you think? I know, I know your favorite scene, which I'll uh, yes, I, spoilers, but you are correct. I, yeah, <laughs> that always impresses me in movies, though. But before we get there, uh, I don't love it as much as Kruger, but we are on the same page because I think this is this is movie is brilliant. Uh, I it's rare for me to like 
keep guessing through the entire movie. Like, I'm not sure what they're really trying to, what story they're trying to tell. So I, I love that. So I don't know <clears throat> where I'm going. So I was just enjoying the journey. Um, Andrea was fucking awesome, but that Chris guy, holy shit, that that dude is incredible. Uh, I I want to see more from him. I this is the first time I've ever really paid attention that to to that actor ever or, or that I've heard of him. So he had me interested. Um, the surgery stuff, amazing, and yeah, I'm with Kruger on the kills. Holy cow! And <laughs> uh, um, oh shit, what's his name? Sean Sean Bean Sean Sean Bean. Yeah, his record is still intact. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this movie's fucking really, really goddamn good. And uh, I do think, to quote Dan, it's going to be a little divisive amongst people. You're either going to really like it or love it. I really doubt there's going to be some people that are like right in the middle. What's funny about this one is you could take the basic premise if you really wanted to and make a more mainstream flick that might star Charlize Theron or Scarlett Johansson. You could do that with the material. Uh, well, that's why I'm so glad that this was Make a little direct... more sci-fi, right? Yeah, it would have yeah. been like sci-fi assassin thing. It would have been but, summer but popcorn. Like but the... Huh? We've seen stuff like that before. Well, wh- but what? I don't but understand. what I'm saying is if no, it I'm... weren't from Brandon Cronenberg, you're getting it in a much more interesting way. No, I'm saying the ver- uh, what you said, like they could do this main, uh, it's been done before is what I'm saying. The mainstream version. Y- sort of. Yeah. You, you've got a handful of movies well, at least. One of my so favorites. They- it has John Travolta and Nicholas Cage. That is kind of similar. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, I was, yeah, there's surrogates is another one. There's, there's some different. Speaking of Nicholas Cage, man, let's get a sequel with Nicholas Cage in it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Let him be one of the you know people that are getting possessed. Cage oh, possessor. <laughs> I've got it. Nicholas Cage and Crispin Glover. Fuck yeah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Where's my wallet? laughs> um, Throw the whole goddamn lot right now. Well, I'm I'm with um, everyone so far. I I loved it. Also, my only really criticism um, is I kind of wish. He, it's his own, but I wish he would have stayed away from like the flesh and the body. That's just what his dad, his dad's done so many times. I mean, I like to see him kind of come up with his Branch own concept, out a little bit. Yeah, but he's good at but, it, and he's like, he yeah. But I think teacher. it's a good way for him to get starting. You, oh, you know what I mean? Because he, he hasn't really, you know, had that many uh, feature length films. Uh, when I looked at his IMDb page, I saw that you know he has a lot of shorts and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I think you know to get people's attention, this may have been like you know the perfect thing because I dude I slept on this because I was just like you know I, I I've slept on antiviral too and now I'm not sleeping on anything. I'm gonna watch everything Brandon Cronenberg has made so far to you know completely uh, get mm-hmm. a full you know, get a, get a full idea of, you know, what he's going to bring this genre. Cause I think this movie's going to be huge. I, I just, cause it's so good that even film snobs can't fucking say this movie isn't good because of the cinematography, all the visuals and everything about it. I, I think maybe, you know, people are going to be happy that it's cut because you know, those type of people, but the visceral, uh, brutality and just so realistic man like the deaths were so realistic to me and uh david cronenberg always had this quote and i i can't think of it right off the top of my head but it was always about you know him wanting his movies to be like medically accurate and uh very realistic and stuff like that and why i don't think this is medically accurate uh i think you know he definitely encompassed what his dad meant about movies feeling realistic um and yeah, I really hope we get it. Oh, go ahead. Uh, most of those effects were actually shot on screen and all practical. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I, cause you, you haven't brought that up yet. I'm like, this is, no, your, this uh, is your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, that's the thing, too. It's like they wouldn't look screen. that good. Yeah, well, they would. They that, that's why I want to get. I'm going to get more into it with the spoilers because I don't want to spoil, you know, some of the kills for anybody. Because, but I will say these are some of the best kills you will see all year. 
I, I think that's hands down. Um, and I think this is one of the best horror movies of 2020 for sure. One of the the things this is any this isn't a criticism. This is more like I'd want like more in a follow up. Is I'd love to spend a little more time in this world. Uh, yeah. that they create, which I think there's potential. You could do other stuff. Uh, I think know. an HBO series would be so good, dude, for this. An HBO series, 10-parter, like Raised by Wolves, you know, co- completely different type of movie, but you know, you and have it get crazy with the gore and shit, man, this would be a horror uh, a horror fan's wet dream for HBO. And uh, what a way to, you know, to get horror fans to go and subscribe to HBO Max. So, yeah, this will draw this will draw in horror and sci-fi fans and uh yeah, it's it's mean. It's fucking mean. They're not afraid to go certain places. And uh yeah. Um so I guess we can go ahead and rate it if everybody's ready. Uh Kruger, I, I don't think it'll be a surprise, but go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a 5, man. This is a masterpiece. Um and I'm definitely all over everything Brandon Cronenberg does in the future. So uh, it's got my endorsement. You have to let me know what you think of antiviral. Uh, Pugs, you too. What what say you? I have been going back and forth uh, because like so ever since I saw the movie, I I keep thinking about it. My When I left the movie, I was originally thinking four and a half. And I think I'm going to stick with that. But it was four and a half and five. I think on future watches I might go higher, but right now I'll stick with the four and a half. Uh, Todd, I'm exactly with you. I was going back and forth between the two. Um, I'm not like I know Kruger's like I want to rewatch this right now. I, I, I'm kind of like I I don't know. Process it. I, yeah, it's one definitely. But yeah, I'm I'm a strong four and a half. <laughs> I'm a five. I loved it. Uh, I'm a David Cronenberg guy, as I've always said. Clyde Barker, Cronenberg, two major reasons why I'm a horror fan. So, uh, I, so far, Brandon's carrying the the flag for him. Uh, all right, guys, we're going to do our spoiler talk now. So, if you do not yeah. wish for this to be spoiled, which you don't with this one, so please just pick back up later if you haven't <laughs> seen it. So, you have been warned. Spoiler talk. Um... I don't know who's in that song. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah does man. anybody hear that? Oh, Morris Code. Maybe that. Oh, <laughs> there was. Well, it's gone now. Dan, uh, right. take your friggin' now. I'm gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's got a possessor. A possessor's coming to get him. <laughs> I, I would like to see them try and get inside my head. I could. There we go. Got a lot of space. I will sell that <laughs> so, shit. I will Vince Vaughn it. Okay, Kruger, uh, what do you got spoiler wise? Because Dan won't shut the fuck up and true. ramble today. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, first off, I just want to say the idea, you know, of the agents going in and possessing people to, you know, more or less fuck up their lives, kill somebody, uh, I think was a big metaphor in mental illness. Um, that's just the way I got out of it, especially stuff like personality disorder and, um, you know what? Before you go I, I any just, further, I loved. Uh, did, did anybody else get Harvey Weinstein vibes with the first kill? <laughs> I, I did yeah. not, but now I want to watch it again. Okay. Yeah, right. uh, I do. Yeah, I do dude. Holy it. shit, <laughs> dude! And first, and how awesome was that first fucking stabbing? Like, what a yeah. way to draw me in. The, you know, just brutal <laughs> shit, balls to the wall right away. Um, and then the one thing uh, about you the want effects, the comic release that you got him. See, I want to give it a five yeah. already. Well, Fuck. I know. <laughs> well, like the other thing too is like there's so many cool effects with guns and stuff. Like there's like h- how do I put this? Sometimes it's hard to have kills with guns look good. Uh, just in my opinion, sometimes. And the, the Brandon Cronenberg did a amazing job with some like bullet holes to the face like there was this bullet hole to a cheek that was just oh it was like brutal and looked like it fucking hurt and was just realistic as hell and then that face crush when the dude you know takes uh mandy's face and you know wears it but then he first you know crushes it down that was one of the coolest kills i have ever seen and i want that damn i want that damn dude with her face like tattooed on me somewhere because it is awesome 
That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen brought to life on screen. You should make one when you start learning. Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah, the kills are fantastic. I mean, I don't mean to make this sound like a slasher film or anything, but that, but the murders are just fucking intense. And Sean Bean, I mean, holy crap. Uh, that was but, fucking out of nowhere. I thought it was going to be all clean. Yeah, was like, I should have known better, <laughs> but like, fucking hey, you're stoking that fire, man. <laughs> Well, how about oh, they, all the they, sexual stuff too? Like you yeah, know, the sex, the, the crazy stuff. <laughs> I was like, what yeah. The heck is that? <laughs> yeah, it it's it's pretty brutal. Um, I mean, and like I guess we can call it the Harvey Weinstein kill. Now I was waiting for the comic <laughs> relief guy to come out. It's like you got him. Uh, <laughs> it's just so fucked up. But pugs, I know your favorite. They. <laughs> They took out the kid. Oh my god! And, and a, so I oh thought, my like, god! And they, sh- yeah, the one shot. I'm like, okay, well, that's the, the that's where they're gonna over. Yeah, yeah, that's where they're gonna stop. Uh, someone just, watched fucking Zombieland because they double tapped that little bastard. I was, I was like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so anytime you get kinder trauma, kinder violence, uh, you, you're gonna get positive vibes from me, positive uh, reviews from me. So. Shit, yeah, yeah. Dude. and they didn't cut away. Same for me. They, they, they saved themselves by showing the back of the head, so mm. that's a trick around it, but fucking A, good for you. <laughs> fucking head I'll, just exploded. I'll tell you right there, that's one of the reasons it, it's not cut or it didn't go, it went out uncut because you can't do the those exit wounds in a in uh, a in an R-rated film, yeah. So. Version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I'm looking forward to this uh, hitting hitting Blu-ray or no 4K too. Shit, right? 4K. Yeah, well, goes putting it on. Well, go yeah. is releasing it on 4K, uncut. Yes, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just picking. It, well, goes the... advertised as uncut, sir. I think they even put it in the and, name now. <laughs> yeah, it's literally if you look it up on IMDb, it's called Possessor Uncut now. Oh no, shit. Okay. Dude, um, also, how about the eyeball gore? The eyeball gore was like, oh, yeah. dude, I, I'm just going to give it the compliment. Full chi levels eye gore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this one's pretty badass. Uh, I mean, I knew I'd probably like this just by the premise and the director, but uh, yeah, this one, I want to say. What I company this. produced this one? I don't know who. Pro- oh, it's Neon. And, and I was going to mention that earlier because you mentioned uh, Spectre Vision and. Uh, a twenty four, they're they're right up there with those two on on their stuff too. Neon Demon, I still I didn't Neon. really yeah. like the Neon Demon, um, but Let's watch it again, see if it works. Yeah, I yeah I only saw it once, so maybe I need to watch it again. Yeah, um, put double feature that with Starry Eyes, and you're in for a fucking weird good time. I love Starry Eyes. Starry Eyes is really good. That's did from you, them too. You no, know, uh, same vibe. But like, did you see Starry Eyes first? What the fuck? Uh, did you see Starry Eyes first before uh, Neon Demon? Yes. That's that's probably that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, guys, check this out. I I don't know how we didn't mention Jennifer Jason Lee. Love her. I th- yeah. I know. I was that that was she one too. Out. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And that couch. Well, I want that well, couch. <laughs> well, I guess we should say because like it's out in drive-ins today, and well. Yeah, today and theaters. I don't know if in good conscience I'm going to say go to a theater to see this, but find a way to the drive-in or something. I'm getting but... close. If, <laughs> buy, if the like, buy the Blu-ray. Yeah, buy the Blu-ray. Yeah. But like, if you like, like Trudy said, like Mandy, and you just like that weird, awkward, like just unique vibe for movies and you're a fucking movie nerd slash snob, it's for mm. you. I think this trip might be worth it, and I I don't leave the house right now. So, fuck! There I should give this movie a goddamn five, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I I agree with you though. Um, as far as like fans of Panos Cosmados's uh, work, like with you know Beyond the Black Rainbow and stuff like that, um, Color Out of Space, I think Under in some skin. extent. Oh yeah. I, I like I Under the Skin. I think like movie. Oh, I think then you know I think you will like it now. I wasn't sure before, but I yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Under the skin. Oh no, that's not. I, I'm I'm getting that mixed up with replace. Have you been replaced with Barbara Crampton in it? 
I have so. that, but no, I have not watched it, it. I thought we did talk about that. I don't remember. I don't think no. I it's seen it. it's it's a Cronenberg esque uh, feel with like you know surgery and cosmetic surgery and people like ripping people's skin off and using them their skin as a you know a way of getting young. So it's really cool. It's got Barbara mm-hmm. Crampton in it. Really good movie. Uh, kind of similar to this in some extent. So glad I remembered it. She's mm-hmm. making the rounds. She's in a lot of stuff now. Um, so, yeah. Any closing thoughts, guys? More like this, please. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Give me more. Let's get Double a sequel. Tap, more kids. Let's get a fucking series. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of potential with this. Good. Even just a standalone movie in the same universe, I think, would be pretty cool. Um, Nicholas Cage in it. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. It really helps us. And support us on all the social media bullshits, including Slasher. There you go, Dan. Damn, also, he wants Kate- to take everything from everyone. That's so Patreon.com. away my spoilers for Shut the fuck up. Patreon.com. <laughs> okay, Pugs, why don't you take us out since he's being an asshole? Good night, y'all. Stay, <laughs> we are. Stay sick, motherfuckers. <laughs>